we'll go ahead and get started since we're at the top of the hour. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. My name is Hannah Crapone. I'm the Content Marketing Manager here at Certiport. We're so happy to have you joining us for our, our webinar this evening talking about the new Cisco Certified Support Technician Certification Program. Please feel free to drop into the chat. We'd love to hear where everyone's joining us from so that we can all get to know each other a little bit better. And if you have any specific questions that you would like us to address about this new program, please also drop those into the chat or the Q&A feature. The session is being recorded, so we'll be sharing a link to the full recording after our presentation is wrapped this afternoon. That does mean, of course, that everyone is currently on mute. So if you have those questions, we would love to hear them. Just make sure to type those out so that we can have our presenters address those this afternoon. Now, today we're talking about how to empower learners through the new Cisco Certified Support Technician Certification Program. And we'll be learning from two experts from Cisco and Certiport. Our first presenter is Jackie Featherly, Cisco Global Certification Program Manager. And our second presenter is Jeffrey Lewis, Certiport's VP of Product Management and Strategic Accounts. So without further ado, I'll go ahead, Jackie, and I will stop sharing my screen and I will pass it over to you and we can go ahead and get started. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Excellent. Well, thank you all very much for inviting me to come and speak with you today. As, as previously mentioned, um, my name is Jacqueline Featherly, and um, I am the Cisco Global Certification Program Manager. I have been in the IT certification world for a little over 10 years now, wearing several different hats. Um, I've been in program management. I've been in business development. I've helped several of my clients that I worked for, uh, and in particular for Cisco, uh, get ANSI and ISO accreditation for their programs. Um, I, I actually love working in operations and um, in the role that I'm currently in with Cisco, I help to manage all of our day-to-day -day operations with uh, Pearson View, our exam delivery vendor for our professional program, as well as partnering with Certiport for this exciting new program. And then I also help um, manage all of our programs and offers for our professional program. Um, in my career, I've worked with um, several of the major IT certification programs, so it's been, um, this has been a really wonderful, uh, welcoming uh, career and world for me, and um, I'm certainly very excited about this certification program, and we're just so thrilled here at Cisco to get it up off the ground with CertiPort. Um, I do mention that picture that you saw. I do live in uh, the northern part of the lower peninsula of Michigan. And um, that actually, I'll just click back. That was actually a dream come true for me this last past summer. I bought my father's old 20-year-old Camaro from him. Um, so that, uh, that's where that picture comes from. So that's, that was a dream come true <laughs> for me. Uh, that's actually the very first night that I had bought it from me. So that was pretty fun. Um, when we made the public announcement at the very tail end of January, January 24th, uh, we did an announcement in partnership with Networking Academy, which I imagine many of you are probably pretty familiar with. And we immediately got a response from our certification community. As you can see here, it's very positive. And this is exciting for us on many fronts. Um, we have a very large academic um, audience that Networking Academy works with, but we haven't really taken advantage of that partnership with our professional certification program. And that's really where our strategy comes into play here is we realize that this has frankly been a missed opportunity for our certification program, that we really needed to address this market and expand our early stage learner reach. Um, we need to increase brand affinity. All of you are teaching these brilliant young minds who by the age of probably, let's be honest, five, 
probably know Microsoft and Apple. Um, but even by the time that they're seniors in high school, they may not know the Cisco name. And we really want them to, because you know we build the bridge to possibility. Our technology helps connect the world. And we really truly believe that these entry level, I, I shouldn't use that term, um, these early stage certifications can help these candidates get their first job in the IT um, industry. And it's really going to be the start of their careers. And by fostering these relationships, I'll show you how this is going to help them progress through not only our career, um, certification program, but this is really going to build the entire pathway for their IT career. And we realize that this is a long-term play, but we are so excited about partnering with all of you, our Networking Academy team, to really build an entire new generation, multiple generations, right, of people that have benefited from these certifications in the Cisco program. So initially, we decided to partner with Networking Academy, and we aligned with their Skills for All program, which is free, and they work to educate and train almost a half a million students a year. And that's really powerful in partnering with um, Certiport. And as I'm sure, I'm not sure if all of you know, but in February of 2020, we retired our professional certification program that had been in market for over 20 years. Some people called that Certpocalypse. <laughs> um, but we think that we got a lot of things right when we did that and when we launched the new Cert program. But we didn't get everything right when we did that. And one of the things that we did when we made that big change is we retired our CSENT certification, which even at the time that it was in market, wasn't really a first step certification, even though it was used in that way. What it was, was the first half of our CCNA exam. Candidates could take and pass the first half of the CCNA and earn the CSENT certification, um, which is what the Networking Academy was using for that first step. And perhaps some of you were in your training curriculum as well. But the reality is, is the CCNA certification is really designed for somebody that's been working in an IT job for three to five years. In our research and studies, we've seen that most people that are taking and passing that exam have seen their salaries go from around a base of 45,000. And once they earn that CCNA, they can get promotions and it takes their salary up to about 80,000. I mean, that's quite a jump. We're very proud of that, but it shows that the CCNA really isn't that first certification that's going to help people get that first job, right? And so we knew that we had this gap and we weren't addressing the needs of the higher level high schoolers, um, community colleges, technical schools, even universities. And this is really where we turned to Certiport to help us. Um, address that market. And so right now we have our Cisco Certified Support Technician Cybersecurity Exam, which launched March 1st. And we're super excited to have the networking exam that's going to be available at the tail end of April. And we really believe that this is going to respond to the market needs for those entry level jobs, those first jobs, and that's stackable with the Netacad offerings, as well as other Cisco offerings, as well as what Certiport is building to support the training and the preparation for these two certifications. 
we're also working really hard to determine what a possible third exam could mean for our program, although we haven't made a decision if and what that third exam will be just yet. But I think that that's probably something we're going to do, although we really haven't made a decision what that will be yet. Also, these are aligned with our Cisco strategic pillars and our technology, um, but they are differentiated from what is in the field today. These aren't direct one-to-one -one competitors with what many of you are probably teaching in your curriculum. And so we really think that there is great value for these two certifications and for what they can bring to your students. And as many of you know, there's so many benefits for us to partner with CertiPort. You know, we, you have um, direct relationships with them um, in the US and around the world. Um, we have the opportunity to work with them to, in direct marketing and sales um, opportunities. They have been so, they're really the ones, right, that um, helped create these exams. We provided SMEs and worked in partnership with them, but they are really the experts in this market and we depend on them really to, to craft these exams to meet your needs and your student needs. Of course, there's the very exciting CertiPort events um, that I hope many of you have, have participated in. And frankly, I'm really excited. I hope to get to one or two of them in the coming year. Um, of course, they also uh, directly engage with educators and policymakers to help build these new exciting cert, um, certifications into your curriculums and hopefully into future um, plans that you have for your students. They offer wonderful candidate support, right? So if there's any challenges that you have along the way, you can certainly rely on CertiPort. And that's one of the things that's very important for us at Cisco. We absolutely wanna make sure that there is um, ease of use for you and ease of use for your students. And of course, there's quite a large uh, test center channel. I hope that um, you have a test center in your institution and with the Networking Academy also coming on board, we're hope to expand um, that test center availability and reach. As I mentioned, we have um, the new networking exam coming out in April. And when we did that announcement, we did a, a blog posting um, with our vice president, Par Marat, in um, collaboration with Laura Quintana, who is the vice president of our networking academy. And it became the number one most visited article on our Cisco Learning blog pages. As you could see, we had over almost 30,000 visits within the first week, which is really high engagement. We're really thrilled about the excitement. And this is coming, as I mentioned, from our professional certification community. Um, these are lifetime certifications. And so we really wanted to address not only um, the availability of these exams and what we like to call, you know, like a B2B model, which is obviously something very fostered by you guys in the way that you help your students get trained and get ready to take these exams and then you help them all register for it to take it. But we realize that we also have this community of people that come to our websites that look at our certification paths as they're laid out. As you can see here, this is one of the ways that we display our certification growth path on our websites. And I'm actually going to go to the website. I'm going to show you um, how uh, we've built these certifications into our professional progression path. Um, but we wanted to make it easy for those people that, you know, come into our program from the professional side to be able to take these as well. And we've actually had, Jeffrey, you may have the new uh, numbers, but I think we're over 50 uh, 
people that have come in and, and taken these exams already um, just um, from our professional side. So that's pretty exciting. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna walk you through uh, just quickly the experiences that we've um, put together in partnership with CertiPort uh, to um, allow uh, our professional community as well to take these exams. So let me just close this down. This, what I'm showing here is our Cisco certification certification pages. And the easiest way to get here is to go to cisco.com slash next level, which is all one page. And it will actually bring you to this page, cisco.com slash next level. And the easiest way to get to that table that I had shown is to pick this blue button that says explore all our certifications. And as you can see here, this is, I'll make this a little larger. This is that table. And here is what we're, we're calling entry level. We're kind of still, our marketing team is kind of kicking around uh, the best way to, uh, to classify um, that um, tier. And so we're, we're, we haven't really quite landed on the perfect word there. Um, but here you can see the cybersecurity exam and the new networking exam. Um, the next tier up obviously is our associate tracks. Obviously we have our CCNA. This has been a bread and butter exam and certification for our program for a long time. Then we have DevNet and um, cyber associate. Then you progress up to the professional tier and expert. If I click here on the cybersecurity exam, you can see we have quite a bit of information all about the program itself here. You can go to that blog that I showed you uh, for Laura, from Laura Quintana, as well as um, Parmarat. You can read about our FAQs. Um, you can click on the exam here. Oops. And then we show information about it. You can look at the blueprints, additional information. And if you want to schedule for it, you just click uh, click on schedule. And what this does, it routes you back to the CertiPort website. This may look a little bit different than what you're used to. And CertiPort's done something pretty cool for us. They have created a custom uh, registration guide for our professional candidates, a step-by-step -step, um, guide here to encourage them to create a new uh, candidate profile within the CertiPort tool and then all the ways in which they can schedule an exam online proctored with Pearson View. So that is really the end of my overview of our exciting strategy and our partnership with CertiPort and Networking Academy. Um, I'm happy to turn it now over to Jeffrey, who's going to give you guys a little bit more of a deep dive about the certifications and the exams themselves. But I'm happy to address your questions at the end in FAQ. I'm excited for it. So thank you, Jeffrey. I'll stop sharing. Thanks, Jackie. Am I off mute or did I do the classic? I'm still on mute. No, you're doing you're great, here. Jeffrey. I'm doing okay. Thanks. Thanks. That was wonderful, Jackie. Thank you. I appreciate. Oh, I, I think I just saw a cattail cross your oh, screen. Yeah. He's hungry, so he's mad that I haven't fed him yet. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. Well, it was really fun to know about your upper penis peninsula and a 20 year old Camaro. I didn't know those two facts. <laughs> Very cool, very cool. Well, thank you, everyone. I'm really pleased to take a few minutes with you today. It's very impressive. Did I did I see Morocco, UK, and Malaysia? I was already really, really excited to see Hawaii and then places throughout the US, but wow, this is, this is a really great gather, gathering. Um, thank you for joining. And um, as was mentioned, I work at CertiPort. I am the VP of product. And I assigned myself to work on Cisco. I work with David Watkins, who is part of the team. And so we sort of tag team it. I'm more responsible for the exam. 
and what's best for the certification. And David's looking after learning strategies and pricing, and he works with all of the different learnings so that we can prepare people for the certification. And I'm having a great time. Um, the other part of my job is strategic accounts, and I've really enjoyed um, working with Cisco. We've we've really been pleased to develop this partnership, and we think there's a really nice complementary partnership here with our footprint in academia and with that younger student who's maybe at the middle or end of their high school years or in the beginning, maybe they're in a community college or a or a university. And we think that that footprint where we already have a lot of our other products and we have relationships with educators and we've we've worked on how to incorporate certification as a key part of education. And, and with that, being able to bring Cisco to those current customers, and maybe some of you are here with us tonight, and then also work with the community that Cisco has been creating with the networking academies. And if they haven't had experience with us, being able to introduce you to how, how we work within academia and with those younger students. And it's not limited to the younger students. All of us can learn at any point in our life. And that sort of addresses some of the questions on, is this gonna be okay for me? Because if we're pitching it to an 11th grader in the US, as educators, as administrators, as people that work at CertiPort who, who like being assigned to Cisco, this is really great basic information. It's not easy necessarily, but it's basic enough information that if you don't have a background, you can approach it. Um, one other thing about me before we go into the topic here, um, I have two boys and four grandchildren and they're the joy of my life. And I feel like an old man saying that, but maybe that's where I am. I'm an avid gardener and an avid hiker. And I love so many of the cities where many of you are calling in from. I almost want to reach out and say, I've hiked that mountain near you or my, my kids live right there by you. So thank you so much um, for joining us. So we did the market research and we work with Microsoft, we work with Adobe, and we have been asked by them to be their fully outsourced certification provider. And so whether it's Microsoft Office or Adobe Photoshop, we are working with customers and have been for around 20, 25 years. That's how long CertiPort's been around. And we researched our audience and, and folks that don't work with us today. And it was really clear based um, on what you're seeing on the screen here, that working with Cisco is something that everybody wants. Um, it was in addition to Microsoft, in addition to the other to the other technologies that we're offering, this would be a perfect fit. So we're really happy to to have launched this. the The program name itself is actually a job bucket. So the program name is Cisco Certified Support Technician, and so within that support technician bucket, which is a great job role bucket, we have some specific certifications. And then at the end of the presentation, I'll talk about how you can complement one certification with other certifications and enhance your portfolio as you seek a job. And like Jackie said, this is a great place to start to get a job right out of high school if you want to do that with just one certification or take both of these or some other ones and and get a really good entry level job rather than rather than you know putting your time in at Burger King or Wendy's you could you could take this class study well get an entry level job and be partnered with um, an expert engineer that appreciates having the help, the eyes and ears, and the foundational knowledge so that they can be more effective. So it's it's really a great way to go here. As Jackie mentioned, the networking exam is coming out the end of April, and we have, in addition to the exam, we have some practice tests for those of you who are familiar with CERT prep, and we have LearnKey that'll probably be coming the second week of May, and the Networking Academy um, learning products will also be ready by the end of April. And the other, the other program is in market cybersecurity, and it launched last month and all of those associated learning products. Thanks, Anna. So I mentioned 11th graders, 12th graders, community colleges. The point here is that you don't necessarily have to have a background in technology. You just need to want to do it. Say you care about security. Say you're, you're interested in technology. If you have those as 
parts of who you are, you're a well-qualified student or educator to be able to take this program. It's a 50 minute exam and we worked really hard. Jackie and I spent a lot of time on the importance of in a classroom, there's really only 50 minutes. And to, to prepare students and to have them look forward to taking an exam is a, is a long road. And so we didn't want to trip up on, and by the way, the exam is a really long exam and you have to take it after school. We've, we've wanted the exam to be short enough that it can be managed within a 50 minute period. 35 to 45 questions and later we'll, we'll have a sneak peek at what that looks like. So let's first talk about the networking certification. So the program name, again, it's a job bucket, the support technician. And the first exam we're going to talk about is the networking exam, which is going to be delivered the end of the end of April here. These are selected response exams. And Let's go back to that last slide, Hannah, thank you. These are selected response exams and you can, like I was mentioning earlier, get a job like a network support technician right out of high school or college, or you can take the CCNA exam. And this is, for those of you that aren't always living and breathing Cisco, this is the difference between taking this exam, which is probably at that, I don't know, Thirty-five to forty-five thousand dollar range, depending on where you are in the United States, or if you were at the CCNA, Jackie, I think you said something like you could get as much as eighty thousand dollars. So, if we start the certification conversation with these two different paths, right? I take the exam and then I go get a job for a lower amount, or I keep studying, or maybe I get the job and then I keep studying, and that that, that helps me get promoted. So, those are the two pathways with the networking exam. The objective domains that we have limited ourselves to are the following concepts, formats, different types, infrastructure. So really knowing, knowing stuff is part of what you're doing here, but you're also learning how to diagnose problems. So it's, I think it's a fantastic objective domain. And, and maybe you're asking the question, is this similar to other networking exams that are out there? It, it has some similarities, but it's a brand new exam. We did it with Cisco with the idea that Cisco technology is something that you will become most familiar with as a result of this. So those more vendor agnostic products that are available um, might, might be somewhat similar, but this one is very close to Cisco. For example, on the next slide, if we take down to the infrastructure domain, you'll see examples of status lights and switching and connecting the cables. And then if you look at the next slide, the diagnosing problems is very much Cisco oriented, the, the collection of data and, and the basic showing of commands. So these are, these are some examples of how this differs from some of the more general certification exams that are in market today. So let's talk about test drive and test drive is a way for you and for your students and for administrators to be able to check out what the exam experience is like. And Hannah agreed to go to that website. She does not have a testing center. She's not a certiport testing center. She's an employee. And so she's going on the internet to, um, to rev up this 10 question sample of what the questions are like. These are not questions that are actually on the exam, but they're like the questions that are on the exam. I think some of the, some of the questions in the chat were, is it an adaptive exam and some other questions. Are you having any success, Hannah, in being able to get out to that website? Yes, I thought I was gonna be so prepared and have it preloaded and it timed out. So just give me one second and no I'll problem. pull that back up. No problem. So, so Hannah has just a normal internet connection. She's not installing anything special and she's gonna be able to go through these 10 questions. And the ones that are boring, I'm gonna ask her to just go through quickly where they're very, very common. And then we'll show a few that are maybe a little bit more um, graphical in nature. So here we go, there's a tutorial, you can skip it. You can get the tutorial outside of this 10 question exam, but here, here Hannah is dragging and dropping. Let's go to question two. 
Here we've got what you would expect from a selected response. Choose two, let's go ahead to three and so on to the question four. Let's go to one that's the pretty graphic, Hannah, just skipping four, skipping five. Here we go. So there's some really wonderful graphics and that sort of leads me into what I want to talk about next, but let's just show them this one and then go to a couple of the other ones that are very graphical. So we call this a rich selected response exam. Here's another one. Let's go from there, Hannah. Skip that. Nine and then 10. So I think there were three in this sample that show the graphical nature. And I always like to get to the point where those of you that are taking a minute to hear about this actually see what it's like. And we really like the fact that we can give this to you, you can familiarize yourself with it, and, and we think that it makes it more approachable. And it's also a really great segue. Let's go out of the browser back to the deck, if you don't mind, Hannah, and talk about the, um, the tracer. Those of you that are in the Cisco world right now probably have heard about Cisco Packet Tracer, but it's free from Skills for All. And this is, um, this is the solution for those of you that might be wondering, do I have to have Cisco technology at my institution to be able to prepare students for this exam? Or do I maybe have to have it on my computer when I run the exam? You do not. But it's great if you do for the study and you don't need it to run the exam. But with Packet Tracer, it's a simulated experience. And I think you can click the video part there, Hannah. Let's see if it runs just to show a 30, a 30 second simulation. Maybe it already ran through. Maybe I'm just too late here. Give me just a second so that I can stop sharing the slide. I'm, and then I'm just messing see. with you. Thanks for doing this with me. Yeah, of course. OK, here we go. Is that showing what we need? Oh, you actually went to the packet itself. No, on the deck, there was actually a little. Embedded. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. Was, Here, let me go back. It was back. an embedded animation there that just showed 30 <clears throat> seconds of, of how you could use it. But I think this audience probably gets it. Many of them may have already used Packet Tracer in the past. Okay, let's go. Here we go. So I created the problem for you that you need to be prepared with images to answer questions to pass the exam. And then I'm providing the solution so that you don't have to think you need to go out shopping for some Cisco hardware tomorrow to be able to do this. Hannah, thank you, it's working great. And I think we're now gonna shift over to cybersecurity from networking. Awesome. So same same program name, Cisco Certified Support Technician, and this is the cybersecurity exam. And I liked it that Jackie said we're thinking of doing a third one because I'm excited to figure out what that's going to be and, and do another exam together. It's been great figuring these ones out. So just like we had with the pyramid for the networking exam, there's there's two pathways, right? Go ahead and get certified and immediately get a job. And these are some of the sample jobs. And we we could we could just put the range here 35 to 45,000 but we think it's best in whatever market you live in or that you're training students in to look these up with your local um, recruiting websites to find out exactly what that looks like as you make decisions to incorporate this into your education and and even talk with employers nearby we're having great um, response from employers about wanting to hire people who have these skills. So anyway, it's that it's that 45,000 mark on the high end for entry level jobs, or instead of the CCNA, the, the pathway into the professional programs is the Cisco Cyber Ops Associate. And Jackie, I don't know if you think that the Cyber Ops Associate is similar to what you said earlier with the CCNA, that maybe you take a 40, 45K job and you, you create that pathway for 80K. But I'd cu be curious when you turn your mic on, what your thoughts are there. You, you've got your mic off. What do you think? I do. Yeah. Yes. It's not, it doesn't quite have the reputation, right, that CCNA does. Um, it's but it's definitely gaining traction. Uh, we just um, engaged Lightcast, um, Burning Glass, on yeah. a research study um, on our cyber security track and cyber ops. And it is definitely gaining um, market share for um, uh, job postings. Um, it is definitely getting picked up 
by um, people looking to hire with that certification. So I hope that it uh, it continues to gain in reputation to help people get those salary bumps, right? Because awesome, people awesome. people don't test because they want to, right? They test. No, they no, to. nobody does. <laughs> well, there might be a few certification junkies out there, right? But they yeah. want to collect it, right? Right. Yeah. So, so hopefully, this is very easy to understand. There's two foundational Cisco certifications that we're offering here, and you can either go get a job with that certification, and you don't have to have prior knowledge of technology before that, that's a really simple, great message that we're sharing with you tonight. Or you could do a little bit more education or do education while you're on the job. So there we go with the two. Um, those of you who are, let's not quite go forward yet, Hannah. The, um, the IT specialist program that Certiport offers has an exam within it that we worked with Cisco to create, and it's a cybersecurity exam. The, the newly released Cisco program cybersecurity exam is the same. Someday we may, we may create different pathways and do some maintenance, and I don't know what that looks like, whether, whether we change one of the exams or both of the exams, but for now we're going to create a very long transition period where the one exam allows you to have branded certificates in both programs. So hopefully that's a simple enough explanation. The, the long transition I'm talking about is appropriate for academia where we are giving this ability until... June of 2024. And if you've taken it, once the technology is complete, I think we're scheduled to be done either the end of April or in May. When you go into your transcripts within Certiport, if you've taken it, and there's like 2,000 people that have taken it, you can be happy with your IT specialist branded certificate, or you could say, yippee, I'm happy I'm going to get my Cisco certificate, and you could grab that. It'll be in that same section, and we'll send you all an email with congratulations and how to go ahead and do that. So we're very happy to have created this transition period where you get a two for one here. Um, on the next slide, we're, it's the same thing that we just showed you with cybersecurity. So we'll carry on. And let's talk about what the full pathway means. At Certiport, we use it to refer to learning, practicing, certifying, and advancing. And I think learn, practice, and certify is pretty clear. Advancing is either you're in school, you've learned something, you've got a certification, and you're now going to go get another certification and enhance your chances of doing more when you go into the workforce. Or maybe you get the certification and then you advance. You, you take that and that helps to open a door for your employment. So we've got on the learning side, the Networking Academy curriculum. Just a second on that last slide. Sorry, Hannah. I know I told you I was gonna move fast, but I guess I'm slower than I thought. So the Networking Academy curriculum and then LearnKey. For those of you who are familiar with LearnKey, it's videos and they're very, very approachable. So I, I'm going to learn by, by using a combination of both and see what suits me. But it's nice that you have options and we may add more options. Everybody learns a little differently. Some, some institutions want to move really quick with their students. And, and, and I'm thinking that in a, in a high school that wants to move quickly, you could do one semester with networking and you could do another semester with cybersecurity. Or you may want to take it easy. Maybe you have a younger student audience and you may want to take a whole year for the network. Anyway, we've got these two learning products available from the get-go. Um, Cert Prep powered by Gmetrics is available um, now for cybersecurity and coming for networking certification. And then with advancement, let's talk a little bit about some other, you know, not just one certification, but other ones, if you don't mind. I guess this was a slide I could have used back then, thank you. So you could take both of the Cisco paths and become a network security support technician. So not just network or not just security, but a network security support technician. And those are the types of jobs you could get. And you'll notice when you search on Indeed or wherever you wanna search for jobs, that these jobs pay a little bit more than if you just had one or the other. Let's look at the next pathway. Network Automation Specialist. So take this Cisco networking exam and then take our Python exam and the IT Specialist Software Development exam and you're well qualified for some of these jobs, which similarly is probably gonna land somewhere between those two ranges that Jackie and I were talking about earlier. 
And then finally, we have the freelancer. You don't want to work for a corporation in their IT department. You're really good and you should you want to run your own business. So you need to learn how to do QuickBooks. So you get certified in QuickBooks. And then you want to have our entrepreneurship and small business plus D for D master certification so that you know how to run your own business. And then you've got your, your support technician. So I think that this support this network support freelancer is a great pathway for the for the independent employee. And I think that's all of my slides. No, 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 no. Okay, this goes back to, I can't see you, we're not in a room. I, I'm not asking, who are you? But we think there's three, there's three people that are that are interested, or three groups of people. You're already working with Certiport and you you're already a CATC. And so when you get to this get started page, you can quickly, you can quickly go to the four or five things you need to do and you'll be up and running really quickly. We think that's going to be very fast. Or maybe you don't want to become a testing center and you just want to get certified. We've got how to schedule an exam. Um, Jackie walked through what it looks like where we've got some online proctoring that we're leveraging for more of a professional setting, but it works well for people who want to take an exam from home. And if you're brand new to Certiport and Cisco, we walk through the steps and we've, we've done We've done a good job not giving you all of the information for how you work with us with all the different programs we have, but just if you want to do the Cisco program, go to this page and get started. So it's a great page to bookmark. Thank you very much. And I'm done with the deck, Hannah, if you want to bring it down. Okay, wonderful. Well, I see that we have a lot of comments here in the chat, and I've pulled out a couple before I was sharing the slides. So I wanted to go through some of those and then we'll go through the chat ones as well. So one of the early questions that we got, how will the network um, tech be different from the CompTIA Network Plus? So maybe that's one, Jackie, that you'd be able to answer for us. Sure. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it's not, this isn't a direct apples to apples comparison, right? Um, we purposely set out not to be a direct competitor with networking or CompTIA Network Plus. Um, the content, as Jeffrey said, is different, and it is a little bit more uh, Cisco technology specific. Um, we actually, you know, I'm biased. I'm not going to say I'm not, right? Um, but I think it actually helps uh, give candidates and students a little bit of an edge, personally, um, because it isn't as agnostic as CompTIA is, right? CompTIA isn't particularly um brand specific um you know it's meant to be more generic um which gives a good education and good base i'm not saying it doesn't but um we give a bit more specialized skills knowledge right so if you take and pass the networking exam you can truly prove that you can do a bit more in-depth troubleshooting you can true, prove you can actually um, do a bit more of um, actual diagnostic and um, wiring of routing and switches, right? Because this is still a first level exam, we're not going to ask you to do too much, right? But simple command prompts, they are going to have to know. Um, but I think the skills for all program, I think packet tracer, and I think um, a lot of the training will really prepare candidates to be successful in that exam. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. So the next question, and I think we might have clarified a little bit of this already, but it's good to, to highlight. Are the courses built into the Cisco Networking Academy platform, or will students have to access another platform to be able to take the exam? So Jeffrey, I think this one might be one that you want to speak to. I think it's built into the Networking Academy platform. Jackie, am I lying? Yeah, Skills for All is. Yes, it is. Perfect. Yep. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yep. Okay, next question. And I think we've addressed this as well. For our teachers who are thinking if they want to take this before their students, is this a good fit for me? I don't have a lot of experience. I'm looking for things to offer to my classes, but want to make sure that I can test it out before I do that. So Jeffrey, what's the best way for everyone who's in that type of situation to test the exam out for themselves? 
I think that using any of the learning products you want, and, and like me, I'm going to use both and I'm going to see what suits me. And I'm going to probably jump to the practice test really early to see if I'm ready. And if I can get a score on the practice test that's like 80% right, I may just go straight to the certification or I might go into comprehensive Jeffrey mode and want to get every single question right and go back and meticulously go after it. But with time being what it is, I'll be satisfied if I can get certified. But I think that there's no limit to the ability to take the practice test over and over. So I would use that as a benchmark because if you're busy, and you're wondering if you know it, go there quickly after you've spent mm. some time in the learning materials and get that upper from knowing that at least you're 60% or you're 70%. And then that gives you the push to keep going. And then I think you'll have a great experience with the exam. And I think you could even take the exam and fail and know that everybody fails from time to time and you can take it again. Yeah, I completely agree. The um, For both the cybersecurity and the networking exam, those um, I, what did you call them practice tests on your, on your mm -hmm. website? Doesn't it have a slightly different name? I called it cert prep. Cert prep. Yeah. Cert they prep, are the, great. The practice test. Yes. 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 I really enjoyed them. I found them really, really good and kind of challenging. I, I enjoyed it very much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. awesome. Love that. Okay. So next question that came through, do these two new certifications pair with a certification that applies to basic OS and hardware knowledge? I teach a two-year program where the first year concentrates on those subjects and the second year is focused toward CCST. Um, Jeffrey, I think the networking would be more of OS, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Standards and concepts, addressing subnet formats, endpoints and medium types, infrastructure, diagnosing problems, and security. It's not going to go deep into OS, right? It's no, it's brief, isn't it? Yeah. I yes. can post in the chat if you want the objectives link. Perfect. Perfect. With all yeah. the with all the sub objectives and all the great. Right. Yeah. Good idea. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Thank you for that follow up. This is a mm -hmm. question I, I'm seeing people answering it with experience back and forth, but I want to make sure that we capture it here in the recording as well. Skills for All is different from the Networking Academy. We currently offer our students course through the Networking Academy. Will they need to access Skills for All or is it considered a Networking Academy course? I'm, I'm not exactly certain what they mean by that um, so where does skills for all kind of fall is it available within networking academy i think they're asking where they can get those resources it's it's right on the main networking academy website Perfect. um i can put the link in there as well wonderful well, thank you there's there's a bunch of different courses within skills for all it's not like one thing like okay. there's a bunch of different um training courses within it wonderful thank you and it's all specialized for what you want to do right do you want to do networking you want to do cybersecurity? Mm. there's different and the networking skills for all training aligned to the new exam is coming out in april it's not out just yet okay perfect yeah. okay just, next question Anna, that came, yeah jeffrey go ahead sorry yeah just as a newbie to all of this world Skills for all is a benefit if I become a networking academy. So, so it's 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 a platform within having become a member is the way I understand it. Perfect. And, and it's is it free to become a networking academy, Jackie? Do you know? I don't actually know. I just saw someone drop into the chat and say yes, it's free. It's and then thought. someone else said no, it's not free. So. Uh -oh. I it's probably looking. should have known that. I don't know. I'm that sorry. is a great question. And you know what? I, we'll I appreciate that people are asking. Um, yeah. I will just highlight and I'll drop the link here to it in the chat as well. In the coming weeks, we'll have a podcast episode specifically interviewing um, a member of the Cisco team mm -hmm. talking about Networking Academy, the process to get um, your institution involved, how much it costs, all of that type of thing. So I will drop the link to our podcast into the chat. That episode will be coming in just a couple of weeks. So for awesome. follow-up on that, and we'll clarify that as well in our follow-up and hopefully give you some additional information. And yeah, day free is wonderful. You guys are going to yes, really enjoy listening. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, one other question, and I, I think that this is very relevant for a lot of our K-12 teachers. What alignment is 
um, provided to the state CTE courses in nine through 12. So kind of what courses are going to be teaching these exams? Um, do we have specific states that are kind of already on board? Maybe Jeffrey, you can clarify where we feel like this fits in in a K-12 setting. So states that mm -hmm. allow us to get on lists from the objective domain point in time, we had most of the objective domains finalized in October. And so we've been working since then to work with every state to get on every list. And we have a very comprehensive effort that goes after it. And, and we have experts um, at the business that can tell us which ones we have and which ones are pending. So um, reach out specifically with your question and let me go back to those experts or Hannah, if you don't mind working with that. Yeah, absolutely. I know that it's top of mind to get, to get it on all state lists. Perfect. And I will say for, I would have to scroll back through to see who asked that question. I'm just going to go ahead and drop my email here into the chat. So if people have follow-up questions that haven't been answered during our Q&A portion or just want to ask some additional follow-up for the CertiPort team, you're welcome to reach out to me. It's hannah.davis at pearson.com. And I'll make sure to direct you to the right member of our staff to be able to help answer some of those questions. Um, I've seen a lot of questions here in the chat about cost for the different exams. And I know Jackie was able to show us a little bit of the pathway for our professionals who are looking to get certified. If you are in the education side of things and want to know the cost for yourself, for your students, I would encourage you to either reach out to me through that email that I just dropped into the chat and provided, or to a member of our CertiPort team. So if you already know who your CertiPort rep is, that's great. If you don't, you can reach out to me and we'll direct you to the right place and we can talk about costs and next steps for purchase. So I think we've pretty much answered everything and I'm really excited to see that. I just wanted to see Jackie or Jeffrey, if you have any final thoughts that you wanted to share before I talk about next week's session. Um, no, other, you know, I, all I can say is just how extremely excited we are about this program. Um, I really can't, uh, I just, just last week did, um, a big presentation to my vice president, her leadership team about this, and um, they are equally thrilled. And that went up to um, Maria, who, who actually reports to our CEO. So this has the visibility of um, the entire Cisco organization, and they're really, really excited about it. So um, we're thrilled um, to be working with all of you. And we really thank you for um, you know, embracing this program and uh, working with your students. So thank you. Wonderful. Thank you, Jackie. Jeffrey, any final thoughts? Yes, thank you. It's really been a pleasure to be with you all tonight. Thank you, Jackie, for all of your, your kind comments. We I guess I'll just end with where I started. It's all about jobs. And if if the certification points to a job, whether you've just taken one or whether you take more than one, and if the job is real, if the industry really wants these students to be well qualified, we're addressing a gap. So even if it's a little bit of a stretch for all of us to get familiar with basic technology, I, I think it's time that we do it and it'll pay off and students that get certified will actually really get a job. So it, it really does take it from foundational learning in high school or in community college to some really in-demand skills. And you're going to get a job if you go forward with this. So I'm a believer in the job message that's part of this. And with the Cisco brand, it's going to, it's going to catch attention on that resume. And, and so there's a lot of goodness that comes from this. So thanks for supporting us as we roll this out. Yeah. Love it. Thank you so much for that. And I'm seeing some great questions um, still coming through in the chat. Um, there's no age limit to the certification. We encourage anyone who's interested, wants to test it out to go ahead and do that. And I've seen some questions about whether this is self-paced or instructor-led. We have all sorts of curriculum options. So I, I did want to just call that out because that is actually what we're covering in our session next week. Um, and I'll drop the link here to register for that into the chat. 
So we're going to be talking about certification and curriculum options that are available through CertiPort, as well as from the Cisco side through Networking Academy, and kind of everywhere in between where you can get some additional information and resources to be able to teach this in your classroom. So we would encourage you to join us for next week's session as well, so that we can dive into all of those resources and learn a little bit more about your options. So we're really happy that you spent a part of your evening or afternoon with us. Thank you so much for being here. If you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. We're happy to answer those at any time. And I just saw Jeffrey drop your contact information here into the chat. I'm just gonna copy that so everyone can see that as well. So if you have any questions, any member of the, the CERTIPORT team is happy to help and we can connect you with any party that you need some additional help with as well. So thank you everyone for being here. We look forward to seeing you all next week and we hope you have a great rest of your evening. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it.